Alright guys, I'm another Joshua with a live video and today we're gonna continue on with the uh, draft battle uh, tournament thing, so um, I, we're what, the second round already? Semi-finals, I guess? Um, if you haven't uh, seen the other semi-final uh, match, uh, you could uh, go check it out, uh, you know, in, in the videos. It was me fighting, who was it? I think it was Arbiter. And um, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but uh, that, 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 uh, that was a pretty interesting match, for the most part. Alright, anyways, uh, today we're going to watch uh, Scott uh, MC versus Ace Dragoon. And uh, let's go over their teams really fast. So, Scott, first round draft, Scaff, second round, Diplodocus, Blue, and then Packy, and then Oranosaurus, Rogasaurus, Allosaurus, and finally Argentinosaurus. Uh, overall, really, I would say they have a bit top heavy team um well i wouldn't say top heavy because it goes like uh the first five picks are like great 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 picks for the most part um scaff diplodocus two of the best non hybrids in the game and then you got blue which is solid packy which is fourth round you pick packy honestly is kind of a steal <laughs> and then oranosaurus that's that's an even <laughs> that's an even crazier steal on what's that the sixth sixth round and then um there's a huge drop off after that with rajasaurus allosaurus and argentinos we're not saying they're not great like argentino roger they they're they're pretty great especially argentino argentino is kind of underrated but uh you know it's just not not on the same level as say scaphnathus or diplodocus right well, let's go over ace dragoon's team uh they picked first round sig Moloch, second round spinal gen 2 that's a really interesting uh, second round pick Honestly, um, third round, Gorgosaurus, and Stegosaurus, then Conk, then Alanka, Eupocephalus, Dilophosaurus. Honestly, I, I kind of think, um, they have, like, really, uh, opposite teams. Um, uh, Scott has really great, um, er earlier round picks, because, well, which makes kind of, uh, which kind of makes sense, since, uh, Scott it, it does have the higher seed, which picks first, right? First, first round. Uh, but uh, Ace Dragon has some really great, um, you know, uh, lower round uh, picks like Alanka. Getting Alanka at what is that? Uh, the sixth round, I think. One, two, three. Yeah, sixth round. Um, that's pretty crazy. And then Eupocephalus, seventh round. That's that's a great pickup. And then Dolphosaurus is not bad as well. So um, it should be interesting on on how this plays out. So anyways, let's get into uh, this. Uh, the the battles then. All right, we we are on uh, Scott's perspective here, and um, who who is? Oh, I think uh, free plays is yeah, free plays is um, uh, a, a dragon there. All right, so they got in the battle. Let's see what Scott draws here. Alright, we got a uh, blue Argentino scaff and a Rano. Great hand, great hand. <laughs> Honestly, like you can't even ask for anything better. Like you got everything uh, that you kinda need. Well, maybe not a chomper, but you know, uh you do have Scaphnathus to make up for that. Just in case they drew their Eupocephalus or something, right? That could be uh slightly problematic. But uh they they, they did get scaff, so that's not horrible. They opened up with Stiggy, um uh, Ace did. Um, Stiggy's not gonna do too much to Argent. But then again, well, I guess Argent could do a decent amount of damage, or leave Stiggy at decently low before it goes out. But then again, Stiggy's gonna also leave Argent uh, in a really bad spot as well. Especially considering, um, oh, D Cell again. Oh! I was expecting crit impact there, but uh, it's still crit anyways, so it didn't matter. Took out the uh, the, the stake. Well, not didn't matter. Well, you now have a faster dino that you're facing, which you could have um, slowed there. But uh, this is a great opportunity to swap into scaff. And thank goodness they drew scaff. If they didn't drew scaff and didn't uh, like draw another chomper, it would be or not another chomp, draw a chomper. Cause, like I think they only have like one in. Aloe, I think so that would have been problematic, but thankfully they for um for Scott they drew Scaff here, and unfortunately for uh Ace Dragon 
they got their euphocephalus in there. All right, that was great. And then on their side, if they, if they swap back into Argentino, Argentino is not going to take too much damage in the first place, right? There. Or, or you could just swoop into Rano. I totally forgot about that. Rano, Rano won't, won't, won't take too much. Well, it would take damage, but, you know, it's it, and relative to its HP status, it won't won't be too much of a deal. Uh, Rano's definitely not picking that off um, before it gets hit, so it's going to take a, uh, a vulnerable or vulnerable uh, rampage here, which is going to actually hurt a lot. But then again, uh, Rano could have, well, it has a decent set to get out of here. Only problem is if they throw out a quicker dino than a Rano, it probably will take a Rano out. And it's the off source, which is faster here. Uh, I guess they could just swap in Scaff again. Um, how much? 1.3, half of that. Yeah, it's not enough to take out Scaff. So Scaff could come in, apply the bleed, and let's see how much damage it does. At one point, uh, yeah, you could just reach out again and get out of here. Scaff is so good, oh my goodness. Scaff is, Scaff is disgusting in, in non-hybrid uh, battles for the most part. It's borderline unfair. Pinning strike, yeah. Now, yeah, it's over, it's over. It's over. Oh well, poor thing. <laughs> oh boy. I love Scaff, 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 Scaff is great. Okay. Um. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter who's over anyways. Like, oh, wouldn't short defense, but it'd be a better setup. But then again, as always, I'm over, over commentating on what's already over, which I do a lot. <laughs> All right, we're in here again, and let's see: there, Allo, Diplodocus, Orano, and Raja. That's a really safe hand, but it could also be problematic. Um, you know, um, overall, in, in terms of power, I wouldn't rank it a really powerful hand, because, you know, both Allo and Raja are lower, um, are lower picks for Scott, unfortunately, and then, you know, they just send out their Spino Gen too, so they at least have one uh, high pick, and Scott only has, well, Scott only has one uh, high pick with the Plotics, although... Iran honestly is a it's 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 a steal down there so even though it's a lower pick it's still really really strong I don't think that really applies to Rana but uh, you know overall it's a decent team let's see if it could work here this could be a bit prominent oh uh, it really depends on what they throw out next what they swap now they could probably swap here ooh if ooh bad bad um, not that Scott doesn't have anything to deal with Euphocephalus. Scott does, but, like, the Allo just, just got <laughs> wasted, um, uh, fighting that Spino. So that would be a bit of a problem. Oh, oh, I just remembered, uh, Scott told me that, um, the second battle, they, uh, sent out Allo, uh, by mistake. So it wasn't, it wasn't intentional. Or, or else Allo could have been put to a uh, much better use here against fighting this, uh, Euphocephalus, right? I don't know why they swapped into Raja though. That makes too much sense to me. Okay. Maybe just they just want to get Raja going against a dino that doesn't do as much damage up front, I guess. Alright. Ooh. Even though they put up a short defense, Rampage is still gonna do your, you know, rampage uh, rampage esque damage there. Same there. Uh they do take out you have a Cephalus, but it's, mm, Scott's not in a really good position here because Rod is really slow. It's going to get taken out by the Stigma Lock, or honestly, whichever dino they throw out there. In this case, the Stigma Lock. Stigma Lock now has an into charge immediately available to them and impact and run as well. Ooh, there's nothing faster. Probably time to bring out Orano or Diplodocus, I guess. Yeah, Orano. Ah, this is a really bad situation for Ryan, because the uh, first turn, it, it's forced to use Spirit Strike, which honestly does nothing against Stiggy Moloch in this situation. Stiggy Moloch, like, if it goes for, oh, Swap into Plotticus. Ooh, if they go for an Ninja Charge, though, that's going to really, really hurt. 
Oh, they went for Shield and Strike. <laughs> well, time for the uh, Shield Advantage here. Unless it's a charge now. Ah, you, you know what? They probably should have the charge now, yeah. <laughs> Alright, stunned. Um, yeah, Stiggy's dead here. Well, no, not Stiggy. Uh, Diplodocus is dead. Unless they... Uh, what? Uh, I guess they just want to keep Stiggy alive, which at this point is not a bad deal, because when you're looking at, um, just raw numbers, uh, uh Ace Dragoon has the advantage here with uh, more healthy dinos than, than Scott, right? Scott only has, like, one more Rano left, and then I think Ace Dragoon has, like, a, still has, like, one more, like, full, full fully healthy dino in the back, and they already know that like uh, they're fighting Rano, so which Stiggy has a decent advantage over, so it's it's not a bad deal either way. Superior Strike, that's a really bad touch. Yeah, this is a really bad matchup for Rano. Superior Strike basically does nothing here. All right, I don't know why they go for Superior Strike though. Honestly, if I were them, I would I would go Greater Sunning Rampage, so like we could. Or, not we. Uh, Scott could, uh, stun the Steggy, and... Actually, I don't know. You know what? It doesn't actually matter. Oh, well. Oh, that's, that's GG there. Even with a crit. It's not enough to take it out. And there goes Allo. Poor thing. Oh, well. Okay, looks like, uh, this series is tied one-to-one. -one. Actually, you know what? This is going to be an interesting and long series. There's like half an hour of this footage that they sent over, so it's probably going to be a long series. It's tied one-to-one -one right now, and um, I don't really want to put out a half an hour video here, so um, we're going to leave it at here. This is going to be part one of this series. This, this is going to be, um, yeah. So they're tied one-to-one, -one, uh, Scott versus Ace Dragoon, and... It really, honestly, these first two games really just, you know, uh, a lot of it just went down to who drew who, right? Um, turn one, uh, well, not turn one, I guess. Uh, round one, uh, Scott drew a lot of their um, early picks, especially with Scaff, and he got lucky with uh, um, with the, the uh, Scaff draw against uh, the opponent's Euphocephalus draw, right? And for the most part, and the, uh, the Ar Argent, um versus the the Stiggy part that, that was really crucial as well and then uh the second round they got unlucky in a sense and I think this was this was an error on their side I accidentally started with Aloe which that would lead me to believe that they probably wouldn't have started Aloe if they had a uh, had a choice um but uh starting out obviously didn't help there uh Aloe was a great counter to you for Cephalus, um but un unfortunately for for them uh, Aloe got injured really early, so didn't have too much use out there, and uh, got bodied. So, um, anyways, that's going to be it for this one. Um, yeah, that's going to be part one of probably two parts of, of this this uh, matchup. So stay tuned for the second part, which I don't know when that's going to be out. Maybe two or three days. It really depends on when they drop the strike. I've heard there, there's like two epic strikes. Um, this week and one wasn't on the schedule, but I just don't know when the other one would be so uh, yeah <laughs> uh, There's that <clears throat> anyways. Um, yeah again. Hope you guys enjoyed it join the discord if you want to you know uh, chat draw school live stuff and and uh, Sign up for a future room if, the, if it uh, any uh, ever happens anytime soon trying to wrap this one up first and um, Subscribe to guys the new channel also the giveaway is still going on so go check my channel for the giveaway video and enter that if you haven't already if you want a uh, Google a Google Play Store or iTunes gift card and um, yeah that's all I'll see you guys in the next one